Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Russians reported that the Ukrainian drones attacked Moscow and Leningrad region. Now, if I remember correctly, Leningrad is or used to be St. Petersburg or St. Petersburg is Leningrad because it was St. Petersburg, then it became Leningrad and now is again St. Petersburg. Nevertheless, semantics don't really matter. It matters the location, which could be A, B, C, D. If the location is the same, it doesn't matter the name. So let's look over the Reuters article. I have an, an article from Reuters and one from Sputnik related to the same uh, piece of news. And this is from one hour ago, today on the 17th of January 2024. Russian military says Ukrainian drones downed over Moscow and Leningrad regions. Russian Defense Minister said early on Thursday that its air defense units had intercepted and destroyed one Ukrainian drone over Moscow region and a second over Leningrad region surrounding the country's second largest city, St. Petersburg. A ministry statement on a Telegram messaging app said the incidents occurred at about 1.30 a.m. on Wednesday. Really? I thought it was Thursday. Um, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin said earlier, had earlier said on Telegram that air defense units had downed a drone while it was on its way towards the capital. Fragments had hit the ground, but there were no damage or casualties. That's the first one coming from the uh, from Reuters. Let's go and see what the Russians are saying in Sputnik. So Sputnik, one hour ago, Russian air defenses destroy Ukrainian drones over Moscow, Leningrad regions. Russian air defenses intercepted the Ukrainian aircraft type drones over the Moscow and Leningrad regions, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. So let's see what those things are, shall we? Okay, and this is an easy map. This is Russia from uh, Europe to Asia. So Moscow obviously is right here. And this is Ukraine. This is Belarus. These are the Baltic states. This is Finland and St. Petersburg is right here. So St. Petersburg is by Finland and let's say Estonia area. Between those over there, Moscow is here. Ukraine is right here. So let's go back to the article. At about 1.30 a.m. Moscow time, Wednesday, an attempt by the Kiev regime to carry out a terrorist attack using aircraft type unmanned aerial vehicles on facilities on the territory of the Russian Federation was stopped. Air defense systems on duty destroyed one unmanned aerial vehicle over the Moscow region and intercepted another one over the Leningrad region, the ministry said. Earlier, Tuesday, Thursday, what the, what the hell is this guy talking about? Wednesday. Okay, let's see. Earlier Thursday, now this, I know this happened on Thursday, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin said Russian air defenses had repelled a drone attack near Moscow, adding that no casualties or destruction were reported. And let's go to see a map, a different kind of map than the one I provided. And here it is. I want to show you how far Moscow is from the Ukrainian um, border. So here is the Ukrainian border. Moscow is right there. This is Belarus over here. And uh, from here to there. And obviously St. Petersburg is not going to be located on this map, but it's somewhere straight up north here, a little bit north. So, drones, not a big deal, let's put it this way, as long as uh, are not those Soviet-type drones with a uh, uh, rocket engine, the ones that can travel about 700 miles or so, the ones that they used to hit angles to, uh, airfield, if I remember correctly. And I suspect that, unfortunately, it's all going to happen, but uh, the the uh, Germans said that they will not send Taurus missiles, which are seven, uh, five, 500 miles radius. So uh, their, that's, their range is 500 kilometers, not miles, but kilometers. So they would 
possibly reach Moscow if they are launched from here they could reach Moscow right here and uh, I guess that's one that these guys want to use it for and the other one I think another reason why they want a Taurus is to easily attack uh, the Kirsch bridge the Crimean bridge which, which is located right here I think they can I mean I know they can destroy it with scalp missiles or with um, storm shadow with uh, British and French missiles they can be uh, released from here launched from here from the air to surface missiles and they can hit this they did it before in a Kirsch bridge so I'm guess Kirsch area and I'm guessing they can destroy the Kirsch bridge and uh, maybe the German ones are better than the storm shadows I'm not sure but the Ukrainians also claim claim that uh, they developed some um, uh, Ukrainian drones how do you call those domestic drones that can travel to about 1000 kilometers so that would be way uh, within the range Moscow would be way within, within that range so a drone I, how I think they will do it probably they will uh, they, the Ukrainian the Ukrainians at one point they will send a massive uh, drone and missile attack towards Russia first the drones and then the missiles to get there in the same time therefore when they calculate to get in the same time they will try to probably uh, uh, how do we strangle the or flood the air defense systems of the Russian Federation so let's say you send 30 out of 30 at least three will hit some targets and then these guys are going to uh, be very happy about it and they, that would uh, play as a morale boost regardless if they're gonna hit the Kremlin or I know Lenin's tomb or anything like this thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just